is up you guys welcome back to my channel so I just finished recording an unboxing video when I finished and went downstairs I saw another figure sitting in my front porch or on my front porch so uh, we're going to do an unboxing on this one I already know what's in here and I really didn't want to unbox this today but it's from the Crunchyroll store and I've already had a really bad experience with ordering figures from them or ordering a figure from them. Um, I've only ordered from them once in the past and it was the Kyo Soma Kotobukiya figure. And that came in, like the box came in broken and it looked like it had already been used even though it was advertised as new or whatever. So I'm really <laughs> nervous about this. So I'm just gonna open it up today. But the reason why I didn't want to unbox it today is because this is from a set of figures that I ordered and I guess it would be easier to just unbox this take it out of the box and then explain so you know what it is it would make more sense that way so um, let me just unbox her out of here and um, yeah please make sure you like and subscribe but and without further ado let's get started all right everybody as I'm unboxing this start manifesting that this is not going to show up damaged listen to this Come on, you guys, you gotta do better. This is the only protective packaging on the figure. Just like draped on top like a blanket. Nothing at the bottom, no like paper protection in between. That figure has been shaken around for God knows how long. Alrighty. Okay, well, the box is intact. I don't know if you guys were manifesting <laughs> when I told you to, but the box looks intact. So, so far so good. Okay, I'm actually very happy and very excited now. The figure <laughs> is from Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, and it is this Maid Cafe version of Kana, and it was a Crunchyroll exclusive. The reason why I didn't want to end up unboxing this today was because there is supposed to be a Todu version and I had her pre-ordered as well at the same time as Kana, but like these two just kept getting delayed and now they're being shipped separately, I guess. I know a ton of people already got Todu and got their shipping notification for Todu, but I only got mine for Kana. Oh, and I'm bleeding. Alrighty. We're off to a great start, you guys. All right, off to a great start, don't you think? I don't even remember what I was saying. All right, okay, people already got their totus already. I have not, which I'm kind of sad about because that was, that's my queen. She was my favorite. She is my favorite. This is the made cafe version of Kana, and there is one of Todu, and the box is super cute. I absolutely, look at her. Oh, she's so freaking cute. This is the illustration. Look how adorable she is. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. So freaking, ooh, so freaking adorable. I don't think I have like any figures from Apex Toys. I don't think I do at least. I don't know, you guys take a look. Do you see any? Like, I, I don't know how some people remember every single company that made the figures they own. I don't, like, if you're a figure collector and you have, like, a ton of figures, how do you remember all that? Okay, okay. I'm actually very surprised that she did not come damaged. Um, you guys, please pray that my Todu does not come damaged either. I will be livid. Oh, yes, before I show the figure, I do want to show you how cute the inside of the boxes as always as i always do um like this it has like the zigzag pattern right right and then on the back it's, it has like her silhouette and it has her name and then it says one seventh made cafe version scale painted figure very simple but very cute Oh my god, no, she's adorable. Oh my god, she's so cute! I do want to mention that there is a metal peg that she attaches to instead of like a plastic one, which I think is good. All right, so I do want to say she was a little tricky to put on her base. Like I felt like I had to push a little too hard to get both pegs into her foot. There's a short one and a long one and it was just, 
I was really scared I was gonna break it, to be honest. So be careful if you have one. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap the other stuff she comes with and put them all together and then we'll show like a b-roll and then I'll tell you what I like and dislike about it. Look at this little cake. Look how cute this is with the little strawberries. Oh my god. All right guys, so this is the figure. I think she's so stunning. Okay, she's super cute. I am absolutely like I absolutely adore when figures are like sculpted in this way where they're like set in motion and they're like doing something it's like this very candid pose i think it's so neat and it just brings the figure to life she's slipping on a banana peel which is like comical in itself but you've got the like table falling over with the coffee cup and like the liquid inside is also spilling and of course the cake too is like mid-air almost I think this is so fun. I think this is so fun and so cute. And I this like makes me so much more excited to get Toto in, hopefully in one piece. I do wanna mention that I really adore the shading and details that go into like the coffee liquid or tea liquid, whatever it is, and like the base and the like top, the tabletop. It's, it feels like an expensive table and it really does feel like you're in a cafe. One thing I really wish was done with this figure is I wish the hair was a little more, just a tiny bit more saturated, not too much. Um, it almost looks a little dull compared to, I think, what I saw in the prototype. There could have also been just a touch more shading uh, at the top of her head. I think the shading in like her uh, braids are fine but like you kind of lose that um, at the top of her head but in terms of like the face sculpt and how everything else is sculpted I think it's so good and I absolutely love how flowy this dress is it is so cute I love that she's blushing um, I also really like how her expression is very fit with her character. She always has this like, I don't know, dead expression and it's just so funny to me. Like no matter what happens, this is the expression she always has. It's just super cute and I think it's like something that just makes up her character. Putting her together was kind of a struggle. So I don't know if I mentioned this before, but she comes with two metal pegs that connect to her feet or one of her feet. And it was kind of hard to like attach her to the base. I felt like I had to really forcefully push down to get her really attached there. So that was one thing. And then her tail comes detached actually. And it like, you have to like really put it in there perfectly and attach it to her perfectly because it tends to fall out almost. Like it can get really loose and just fall. I would also be careful because it's, it's really thin and fragile. Like I cut it out of here, but while I was talking, at some point I was holding her up and the tail just fell off. So I would be careful with that and just make sure she's snug in there. It's hard to tell if like the tail is actually snug in there or not. So I guess try your best. The table was easy to put on and attach to the base, which is great. The cake, however, is super scary to put on. I don't even think I have it attached on completely. Uh, snug in there but like the cake is the cake bends okay off the the tray so I would be super careful I don't know if it's actually removable I don't know if you can actually take the actual cake off the tray there is a section on the cake where it looks like you can separate it from the tray but I didn't try and I'm not going to try because I'm not one to risk things like that when I'm spending this much on a figure uh, so if any of you know <laughs> or any of you have tried and failed or tried and succeeded please let me know in the comments and let others know in the comments but yeah I'm just not gonna fiddle with that but yeah overall I think she's super adorable and I think she's gonna look so neat I don't know I guess I can put I guess I can have my own Kobayashi shelf now that I have these two and I'm waiting on the Todu one um but yeah look at her she's so cute I love the detailing and the cakes and the actual props um, aside from like the details in her herself I just think I, I think it brings this figure alive so much more so yeah so please let me know what you think in the comment section below I really hope 
I get Toru soon because I cannot wait to display them together and I cannot wait to show you guys. I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys.